Everyone, welcome back, and this is going to be the final episode of the series. I have decided to scrap the ones where I show you how to set up a, a view with um, .NET Core. Uh, the reason that being I'm going to create different videos for that and make them more detailed uh, later on, but basically in this episode I wanted to show a concept that I think is important to know that it's available because you might some uh, sometimes... Uh, you know you have you're loading up a website and you have that initial loading screen where it basically gets all the stuff that you need right so uh, I just wanted to show you how to achieve that using uh, view X view router and basically how how do you do this all right so in our store here let's go ahead and add some state and I'm not gonna I'm basically I'm gonna abstract the idea of uh, something that we actually need to get uh, and uh, I'm not actually gonna be getting anything all I'm gonna do is say app ready I'm gonna start with false right so whatever it is that we need to do to get our app ready we are gonna be doing an, an action all right and uh, another thing I'm just gonna have a mutation so um, and I'm going to call it ready app. And I'm basically just going to set this to true, right? Uh, obviously, you'd be changing state all over the place when you're initializing your app. You may be checking that the save token is still valid. And, uh, let me actually quickly go into this pop up and start with false here. So this thing is hidden. But yeah. As I was saying, you might want to be checking that your stored token is, st is still valid, so you will make a round trip to the API, and the API will check it with the authentication server if it's valid. If not, it will return a 401, and then you will need to refresh the token, or you will just straight up try to refresh the token and get a new one. That sort of jazz, or you maybe need to load in all the st stuff from the local storage and from the API, and you don't want to... You don't want the user to see your incomplete website before everything is in place, right? So that sort of thing. Uh, so, okay. So the action, I want to call it initialize app. And I'm going to have just a commit here. And here I'm going to not pass anything because there there is nothing to actually ready the app all i want to do is i want to set a timeout and i want to say function and here i will just commit ready app and i will give it five seconds right that's a little bit too long but i just want to make sure that that is working all right so in the root of our app our main component which contains everything else in our app this is where I'm essentially just gonna go and let's um, map some actions and there's gonna be no namespace here and I wanna map my init app. Uh, I'm just gonna call it init. So, and uh, here I'll just say, so I'm calling it. Okay, so basically what I also want to do is I want to get a computed property. So I want to basically say, uh, remove this thing here, and I want to get this app ready. And I just want to say ready, app ready. And I want to introduce like a full screen uh, loader sort of thing. So let's make a div class uh, loader. <clears throat> I'm just going to say loading. And I'm only going to display this V if uh, not ready. Okay, so let's refresh this. It's loading. It's five seconds are going to pass and it will disappear. Cool. So five seconds was a little bit too long to wait. I'm just going to set it to three. All right. Uh, so let me grab this um, 
loader. I'm not gonna go too hard on styles, so background, I'm just gonna make it uh, E. Okay, opacity, I'm just gonna make it. Ah, no, no opacity, just. Uh, no, let's make it position uh, fixed. Um, with 100%, right, 100%, um, I think that should be enough, yep, so top um, 0, left 0, fresh, cool, and uh, <clears throat> that's alright, I, you know, I, I, I can position the loading in the center, but I won't, so, uh, cool, so we have this loading bit. But the main thing that is uh, the problem with just having this loading bit, it, may, it, it seems like an illusion at this point that it's it, it has rendered the page, but it's still just covering up with this loading bit, right? So we want to <clears throat> prevent reaching the page uh, until the loading is complete, right? So we do this accomplishing, we accomplish this task using the router. So we want to import the store the same way we do in our method uh, main.js so I'm just gonna do that here so I import my store and in here where I have this authentication before each so uh, where I check the meta what I basically want to do is I want to check for uh, my store whether the app is ready or not and the uh, before actually displaying the route. So we have to understand is that this app will be displayed, but whatever's in the view router will hold. All right, so it will not try to load the following data. So the reason you wanna do it this way is because let's say you have this authentication token, right? And it's expired. So when you enter the application, you are doing this uh, check of uh, basically checking is this authentication token uh, good? Do I am I I'm trying to get a new one? If you would load the if you would enter the route and try to and it would start trying to get the data from your API and passing in the, an invalid token, you'd get a 401 while you're refreshing the token. You'd start all, all hell breaks loose. All right, so you don't want to start getting anything. You don't you want to basically stop the app until it does its business, all right? So what I'd like to do here is I'm actually going to comment this out. And the real uh, card that I'd like to do is I wanna make a function that basically says proceed, right? So in here, if we are successful in loading, loading in the, the app, we are going to basically call next and we're basically we're ready right so uh, this is some uh, something like a callback function right so uh, uh, we want to go next but we want to wait for the app so in this uh, in this wait we're waiting for an event so we need to offset this function in time all right so this is why we're reserving the right to call it in this uh, uh, in this scope okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and basically say store. So we're going to access the store and we're going to access the state. And in here, we're going to get app ready. All right. So if app is not ready, uh, what we want to do is we want to initialize a watcher. So store watch, right? So this watch function uh, will accept uh, basically two functions right the first function is takes the state and basically asks us what do we want to watch all right so we're gonna watch app ready and the next uh, function as you can see cb it's the callback function and basically what we want to do is we are going to take the ready value okay and we're basically gonna say right if ready uh which is uh, it's, it's probably just going to be true all uh, you're basically when the app is ready uh it, it loads everything up and uh, if you need to check anything in the following 
um, steps here like uh, store state uh, let's say I don't know authenticated you basically you do it here so you basically you take this uh, function and you put it in the proceed and you do whatever you need to do here so again if uh, basically once the app is ready uh, all we want to do is call proceed and then our application will return to uh, working and here what we want to do is basically if the app is ready already you just want to proceed okay and uh, this is really a simple thing we don't need the next here and whatever we're doing here we can go ahead and move this up into proceed okay let me uncomment this okay now let's just quickly take a look at what would happen if we would not call next all right you can see that the page isn't loading okay now let's go ahead and uncomment this Okay, and the main reason we're basically not getting the next result is because, again, we don't have the uh, too much to off. So basically, we're not matching any matter where we're authenticating. So what we need to do is we need to call next somewhere here. Okay. And there we go. So again, let's go ahead into our home page and in our do we have a creator here we don't let's create a created function and let's just console log and let's just say uh, home page reached okay so let's give this a refresh and you can see that it's not reaching and let me just change this to create it to actually show it. And as you can see, basically, it's not outputting homepage reached until it is actually reached. And if we go into our app.view, app init. So what happens is app initializes first. And then once the load's finished, homepage loads. And that's when... Once it loads, it can fetch its stuff and it can, uh, uh, the app uh, can function correctly once you have the token, all right? So let me remove this stuff here, don't need it. And hopefully this stuff makes sense. So this episode is essentially about how to create a store watcher outside of the store and basically keep using the Vuex reactivity. But yeah, uh, this will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the, these, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And hopefully, I'll see you in some other series. Bye-bye.